This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Improvisation happens often during filming, but some daring actors and actresses chose to go down the path of becoming their eventually iconic characters with a little bit of creativity and spontaneity. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the actors who improvised during their auditions. So without further ado, let's get started. Dacre Montgomery, Billy Hargrove Stranger Things is a science fiction teen drama in which Dacre Montgomery portrays the edgy Billy Hargrove. This character almost seems to have been written specifically for him because we couldn't picture anyone else in the part. Montgomery chose to film a significant portion of his audition while being shirtless, which was manifested in the film given that he was also shirtless half the time. He also improvised by dancing to the song Come On Aileen, which demonstrated how well suited he is for the role of Billy, who is at all once funny, intimidating, and charming. Okay, and get out of here while you still have a chance. But wait, before we proceed, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Because doesn't it make you curious which ones of your favorite movie's actors actually winged it during their auditions? Tom Holland, Spider-Man. During his Spider-Man audition for Captain America's Civil War, Tom Holland says he rejected his agent's suggestion not to improvise and just started riffing with Robert Downey Jr. Holland was speaking with Daniel Kaluuya, a fellow MCU actor, as part of Variety's Actors and Actors series, and the Peter Parker actor recalled the arduous seven-month audition process, which included six auditions. Holland revealed that he went up against six other possible Spider-Mans, all of whom were put through their paces by Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr. It's the most impressive audition I've ever given. I was riffing on him, and he was riffing on me. My reps informed me that Marvel expects you to memorize the lines word for word. You can't improvise. Then, on the first take, Downey transformed the scenario totally. Holland said, we started riffing with each other, and to not sound like a jerk, I called my mother afterwards and said, I think I've got it. Daphne Keen, X-23 When Daphne Keen first appeared in Logan, she was only 11 years old. It was a significant and significant position in the picture. When the character appeared beside Hugh Jackman in his final role as Wolverine at an audition, she devised a full scenario with a veteran actor speaking in both English and Spanish, which was entirely her idea. Her performance astounded everyone, and the moment was included in the film. It was one of the most outstanding audition recordings he had ever seen, according to Patrick Stewart. Jason Momoa, Khal Drogo On Game of Thrones, Khal Drogo is a fearsome character, so the position needed to be filled by someone equally scary. Jason Momoa turned out to be the ideal match. And it was thanks to a risky move to begin his audition with an impromptu haka dance that he earned the part. It's a traditional dance from New Zealand, though was established by many Maori tribes. It was a wise choice that helped Momoa land the part. Harry Potter cast Rupert Grint, Daniel Radcliffe, and Emma Watson are the golden trio you know and love in the hit series Harry Potter. Though have you ever considered the other performers who auditioned for these iconic roles? Thousands of children auditioned for first-year roles during the open cast and calls. They had to improvise a scene in which they are a student arriving at Hogwarts if they were summoned back. In the end, we know who made the best decisions. Alden Ehrenreich, Young Han Solo Alden Ehrenreich was the first person to try out for the role of Young Han Solo. He ended up performing auditions and improv scenes to ensure he had mastered Harrison Ford's legendary character swagger and charisma. In one of his auditions, he even had to act with a dog puppet with whom he had had to interact. John Krasinski, Jim Halpert John Krasinski's audition for Jim Halpert on The Office includes more fruit talk than you may anticipate. During his audition, creator and showrunner Greg Daniels requested Krasinski to do some improv about his favorite fruit. The comedic actor began talking about pomegranates and how he only gets them once a year. He even gave the camera a typical gym face at the end of the talk. John was the ultimate Bugs Bunny when it came to conveying those expressions. 
Chloe Grace Moretz, Isabel. Martin Scorsese, the director of Hugo, was insistent about hiring only Britons in the film. Chloe Grace Moretz, an American actress, was not going to be hindered. So she decided to audition and do so with a British accent, claiming to be British to everyone there. Moretz thanked the director in her usual American accent after the audition, which surprised Scorsese. However, he was so taken with her that he broke his rule and decided to cast her as Isabel. Steve Carell, Brick Tamlin Steve Carell is today regarded as a renowned comedic actor, yet he had to prove himself in every audition at the start of his career. Carell astonished the casting department with his excellent improv during his audition for the character of Brick Tamlin in Anchorman. Carell was seen pretending to eat a rotten sandwich alongside Will Ferrell in the scenario. His dramatic eating and gestures, which he also performed in the moment, had the panel in fits of laughter, and he laughed along with them, which fit perfectly with his character. Tom Hanks, Forrest Gump Tom Hanks auditioned for the role of Forrest Gump alongside Haley Joel Osment, who would go on to portray the role of Forrest Gump's son in the film. When it came to his remarks during the performance, Hanks improvised heavily in order to assist Osment and make him feel more at ease. He talked about cartoons and made sure that Osment's gaze was locked on the camera the entire time. When Hank showed his inherent goodness, he demonstrated just what was required to represent the good-hearted Gump. Blair Witch Cast What if I told you that a large portion of the Blair Witch Project was entirely improvised? Finding the right cast to allow you to improvise for an entire movie was essential. Heath Donahue, an actress, Remember the addition and procedure, which she discovered through an ad that stated, it is going to be hell, and most of you reading this probably shouldn't come. When the performers arrived for the addition, they were immediately confronted with the task of improvising as a figure who had been imprisoned for nine years. And if they hesitated even for a split second, the addition would be over. Russell Brand, I'll do snow. Russell Brand improvised an entire scene for forgetting Sierra Marshall during his audition, in which she had to passive-aggressively persuade his partner to go horseback riding. It's a wonderful sequence that displays Brand's ability to deliver a humorous performance. He had everyone in the room in stitches, and there was no one better to play the part than him. Jim Carrey, Andy Kaufman Jim Carrey is well known for his outlandish and over-the-top comedic performances. As a result, when he auditioned for the role of Andy Kaufman in Man on the Moon, he wasn't considered a legitimate contender. But it was only until he nailed his audition to the latter. It was the fully inscripted recording he submitted that convinced the film's producers that Carrie was the ideal choice for the role. Chris Pratt, Star Lord Pratt got the role by answering Bautista's question of why he would put his finger on his throat, to which he replied, that's just, uh, an expression for slicing. He also improvised by saying, I won't touch you again, that's the last time I touch you. After touching Dave Bautista's shoulder, Gunn initially was against addition in Pratt, but his mind eventually changed after he saw Pratt's performance on the scene. He immediately knew he was perfect for the role. Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man Robert Downey Jr. is one a charming man. So charming that he actually confidently went off script during the audition for his iconic role, Iron Man. Downey admitted that he likes to go off script, he liked to disregard what was written and at one part, his improv even lent him to defer vegetable snacks to the person working with him in the scene, referencing just how much he loves snacking on set. He even improvises while well filming as he becomes the beloved Tony Stark. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anterly and Anterly Tokens, check out the links in the description. These actors are so confident and so contented with their acting skills and sense of character that they risk the only chance they get to audition to play an important role. Maybe this video is one that will teach you to take risk when you can, to be confident and be authentically you. Would you take risk and show more of your character the next time you were presented a chance to do so? Let us know in the comment section down below.